What's up guys, it's Adam here from Shredding Brett and today I'm going to bring you a full day's weather being video. It's the weekend so I can be a little bit, so give you a little bit of better insight to some of the food, some of the prep that I'm doing rather than throughout the week, the schedule allows it. So I've been up since about 7 o'clock, the gym doesn't open until 8 o'clock, I'm going to go and hit a little bit of cardio, I'm going to drive to a facility to jump on a machine that lets me walk. I've actually waited to do this. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll head back home, well back to Connie's house, that's where I am now, get some breakfast and then I'm going to go and hit the gym for some heavy hmm, pumping back today and it'll be some triceps. And the me and Ben, who you've seen in the Nutchuck videos, are going to be hunting for some meat. We're going to be going handling some meat. We're going to a meat market, see what um, we can pick up there. You can't spell meat without E-A-T, which is why I'm bringing this full day's weathering video today, guys. So stay tuned for the meals. Boom. So I just got back from that cardio session. Feel like I've been in a Chinese sweatshop, absolutely dripping wet. But Connie was kind slash courtesy, courtesy, courteous enough to get them eggs cooked up. Now I like my eggs in the morning unfertilized with a kiss. I've already had the kiss, so these are scrambles. Then in the microwave, you can see I've got some porridge oats in there, and I'm actually working with some of these uh, my protein maple drops. The flood drops, these are the maple syrup flavour, and I'm putting in a little bit of this coconut milk water. And I picked them up yesterday. Connie's had some for breakfast from Asda. What do you think of these, Connie? Nice, not nice, worth it. The golden syrup, basically the Rice Krispies golden syrup flavour. But I'm going to have breakfast now, guys, going to enjoy it, so I'll check in with you all very shortly for the next meal. So many protein bars. None of them are that great. Well, there's some that are pretty good here. We need to go to the supplement shops to get the full selection of the protein bars. I'm not going to pick any up now. So this is what I'm getting. Some sweet and crunchy salad. I'm going to have this with my turkey and rice. Okay guys, back for the gym, back from the gym, just being on the sunbeds, topping up that tan. Last week I was looking Jamaican, this week I'm looking more Caucasian. Just topping up that tan, about to have some food, and as you can see here, it's a pretty hearty looking meal. We've got some brown rice, we have got, in the sauce on there, a little bit of this Nando's Piri Piri garlic sauce. Macros are decent on that, I've only used a tiny, tiny bit. And check there. 15 calories for a seven, probably is not. Maybe a seven is worth there, but probably not even that. 120 grams of turkey breast, just with some seasoning on. Got the green veggies there. One of my favorite meals, gonna eat this. And then I'm heading off to a meat market, so I'll bring some footage from there very shortly. This is the pickup that I've just got from Bones Meat Market. Five kilos of chicken breast. You can probably say it on the Shredding Bread channel, breast is most definitely best. And then we've got some um, flavoured chicken breasts right here. Pretty good price, two ninety nine a pack. And so we've got Cajun chicken, piri piri chicken, and we've got some garlic butter. And then there's a beef cake. Not just on the screen, but there's beef cake in my hand right here. Top side of beef there. So. Chef Linda is going to be cooking that because I've never cooked the top side of beef before. But we're going to try some of these different flavours out. Should be good. When desperate times call for desperate macros, you've just got to open them up and get them rammed into your mouth, haven't you? Isn't that right, Ben? Yeah, that's right. What have you got? Show the camera what you've got. Let's go for. Pretty bars, blueberry smoothie. Which I've also got two of these as well. Tastes pretty damn good. There'll be a review coming up on the channel. Stay tuned. Uh, jungle Bites. Jungle Bites. Some brown plates. 
And just some sandwich bags. Can't eat them though. Sounds good. Which breast is best? That's the question we've got to ask ourselves when picking up a plump, juicy handful of that protein. So I'm going for the Cajun one here. I've just cut the full pack, which I showed you that I got earlier. Um, looking forward to it. it. Smells very nice. So I'm going to have just a salad because I'm going out for food later on. So I'm going to save macros. I don't know what I'm going to have yet. Um, it's going to be another two, two and a half, three weeks. About two and a half weeks. Not two weeks, I think. I think two weeks since I start contest prep again for my next show. So my diet being pretty good, well my diet has been spot on uh, since the show that I did last week. Um, I'm looking leaner than what I did last week. Um, now I'm looking better than what I did last week. So um, over the next few weeks I'm just going to take Kanye out for a meal. Tonight the six of us going out for a meal. I don't know what I'm going to have. I won't go for anything stupid but at the same time I'm not going to be restrictive. If I see something in the menu that I want I'm going to have it. So because I don't know what the, the macros are going to be like. Um, going under for the day so then I can have a meal tonight without pushing me too far over the macros in fact it won't push me over at all I've only had 130 grams of carbs so far today on average I'm aiming for 350 but today I was going to be doing a lower carb day so I'll go for around 200 so uh, 250 sorry so anyway I'm going to have this meal now is a salad and then head into the restaurant for about quarter past seven I might have a protein shake between now and then, or I might just wait until we get sat down and eaten. But I'm going to show you this when it's cooked um, in the salads, so check in with you all very shortly. And this is the end result, guys. Let's take a look at me and the camera as well. So we've got our salad bowl here. Hopefully that's pretty much in view. Um, it's just the salad I picked from Tesco earlier with the chicken. That I've just cooked, I weighed 150 grams there, so this should be pretty decent meal time you over till, ooh, yeah, probably still a restaurant now. So I'm going to eat this. Have you got anything to say, Linda? Nothing at all. Linda doesn't have anything to say at all, but she will be cooking me that beef joint. So biceps popping, chicken is going to be dropping into my belly. Stay tuned. What was this called? <laughs> We've got some type of chicken. I'd say it's like a pancake. It tastes like it reminds me of like a pancake. But with chicken in. But with chicken in. That's how I do all my pancakes now. Tastes pretty damn good. Ah, oh, I don't know. Oh, there's the garlic, the garlic shoe, a garlic shoe oh, yeah. and a barbecue. Yeah, there's two of them. It's massive, that. You are used to big things inside, you know, and you can't. Handful of cheese, handful of cheese. Look at that big beefy burrito right there. The camera's not putting that in.